So to the, the point of high school football, which players and coaches had the most impact on you, Mr. Sin? Um, as far as the coaches and players that I dealt with or just yeah. generally, yeah. Um, so I had an interesting, I guess, high school career in, in some aspect. Um, I started as a varsity quarterback uh, during my sophomore year. Uh, we, I went to a school that was notoriously not successful at football. Um, you know, we, we probably didn't win 11 games in three years, like, uh, like you, in Houston. Um, so I started as a, as a sophomore, um, but I decided to transfer to go to a school that was, would have more success, right? At playing quarterback, you know, I kind of felt like, okay, obviously a better team, you know, having people that are more willing to, to put the work in with football being such a team sport, you know, it, it's going to help you, especially in high school to get to the next level. If you're on a good team is what, what we felt. Um, so I transferred to this other school that was in my district. I was actually going to go to a completely different school, but ironically, the coach, my head coach, my sophomore year, left that school and went to the school that I was planning to transfer to. So, Sorry. So instead of following him, I adjusted and went to the other school in our district, Corrine High School, um, which is a football powerhouse in Ohio. Um, you know, they won state my freshman year before I went there. Um, but always either either lost to the state, you know, pretty much lost to the state champs, you know, in the playoffs, um, got to the semifinals. And, you know, so it's a powerhouse. Um, and my first year there was with Coach Kerry Combs, who's now Ohio State defensive coordinator, I believe, um, or at least DB coach. He was in NFL for a little bit. Um, and then he left my junior year and also Coach Bolden, who, who, who took his place and kind of learned under him. Um, both of those guys, I mean, were just great motivators. Um, they just had, you know, Coach Combs had developed a culture at Corain that, you know, is, is a reason that they're always one of the top schools, right? We, after school, I mean, we were in high school, we would come in before classes. We'd get there like 6.30, 7 a.m., I can't remember, and watch film. And, you know, we'd be out there in the morning. It'd be dark. They'd turn the lights on the field. We'd be running seven on seven. Um, everybody's in the weight room. You know, you got 40, 50, 60 high school players in the weight room four days out of the week. Um, so, I mean, just really the culture. And, I, you know, I attribute a lot of that to Coach Combs because he, he definitely took them to that level. And then Coach Bolden continued it uh, during my senior year.